Film Lab is a directed group study here at the iSchool. A few of my colleagues uh, got into drones over the winter break, and uh, we all got together and said, these things are fun. So um, we got a professor to sponsor the class, and uh, we are just now hacking away at trying to do some cool stuff with it. For the first few weeks, we did some just kind of getting familiar with what we can do with the drones, and now we're starting to get our hands on kind of figuring out a semester-long project uh, to work with the drones. Uh, we're connecting them to our computers via Wi-Fi and hacking away in JavaScript to uh, control the drones and see what we can do with them. A few examples are uh, head tracking and kind of controlling the drone with our head movements and uh, some of the other things are controlling it with our keyboard and uh, streaming the live video feed from the drone uh, onto our web browsers. I've been learning some new Node.js coding schemes. Um, I've been looking at other people, uh, what other people have put out out there on, on the internet and been learning to like try to kind of integrate some of, the, some of them. Then. So and we've been like playing around with this a little bit to understand, you know, what happens if it's at a high, really high speed. Does that mean like it can do certain things or can't do certain things? The drones are a young technology, and it seems like right now they're only being used for military purposes and spying. And there seems like there's a lot more potential. The reputation of drones is pretty negative in the public side for the most part because I think that there's continuous news stories about how they've been used by the military, concerns about privacy, but you know we're trying to do something a little bit different in Drone Lab where we're interested in using drones for both interested in the technical capabilities of drones but also thinking through what are the cool things, um, often socially good things that we can use drones for. You know, how could drones solve problems that we may have ourselves? You know, how could we deliver a taco using a drone? You know, something silly is that, but potentially kind of profound in terms of how we interact with our environment, with other people, with the world. So um, there are lots of uses of drones that people may not typically think of when they hear the term. So you could potentially use this to detect objects on the ground and have the drone do something. So I'm particularly interested in strapping some sensors to it so then you can start to quantify the environment. Um, thinking like building science, maybe you can use it to sort of gather um, temperature profiles across a very tall space, or else there's a potential for like maybe pollution monitoring. You can fly around the city and gather pollution data that would otherwise be much more difficult to collect. So really, another word that I like to use is quadcopter. This is essentially a helicopter with four motors on it and um, it has less baggage as a term than the word drone, so I typically like to use that. <laughs> so I think if Drone Lab is a success, we will, by the end of the semester, have learned a lot about what these can do, what these can't do. Um, we've also been working on open source code that we're hoping to distribute and share with others. Um, there's a lot that's already out there, but we're hoping to kind of build on top of that, and we have been. There's really like a lot you can do with the drones, because the libraries are open, um, you're able to use the other resources out there to create your own um, creation. Just really, lots, we have lots of questions about even what's possible, what isn't possible, um, with something as basic as this technology, so we're trying to push the limits of what that means. It's just a great opportunity to start tinkering with other great minds and sort of share share ideas and uh, you know, all move together, uh, move forward together.
Dogs love drones. They, actually animals, animals love drones. Cats are scared of them though. Cats are horrified. Dogs, dogs like them though. 